Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019-2020 Panini Mosaic Basketball 2-Box Ram Team Break number 19. These are the multi-pack uh, boxes, those cello pack boxes, 12 in each, so 24 packs total. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. There are the teams right there. Let's roll it, let's randomize it. Four and a one, five times for each list. One, two, three, four, and a one, fifth and final time. After five, we've got Drew down to Joe. Four and a one, five times for the teams. One, two, three, and a one, fifth and final time. After five, we've got the New York Knicks down to the Pelicans, nice. All right, Drew with the Knicks, Tim with the Sixers, Anthony with the Pistons, Charlie with the Warriors, Matthew with the Jazz and the Hornets, Severio with the Kings, Matthew with the Wizards, Charlie with the Raptors, Leonard with the Bulls, Matthew with the Hawks, Dan with my Lakers, Ben with the T-Wolves, uh, Severio with the Clippers, Josh with the Suns, Ryan with the Grizzlies, Phil with the Rockets, Tony with the Magic, Ryan with the Thunder, Severio with the Nets, uh, Jose, Josu. Velo? I'm going to go with that. Jay with <laughs> JV with Portland Trailblazers. There's Andrew with the Heat. Tang with the Cavs. Gavin with the Mavs. Ryan with the Pacers. Roman with the Spurs. Tim with the Nuggets. Keith with the Bucks. Matthew with the Celtics. And Joseph with the Pelicans. Are we. I don't know. We'll, maybe if this person comes in, we'll do that. And it's Lachat or Lachat? with the Pelicans names. Sometimes I have trouble with them. Apologies, folks. All right. Now I'm gonna pause the video. Here are the two boxes right here. Grab them from the back. Pause the video, allow for a little bit of uh, trading time, and when we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around, BRB. All right, welcome back, folks. There was a lot, a lot of uh, of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done. All right. There it is. 12 packs per box. It's gonna be a good time opening these packs. But hopefully it will, it'll yield some pretty nice stuff. Boston Graphs, no. I don't remember your real name. I don't think I even knew it. I, I wish everyone would use like their actual names as their handles, but my brain can't, can't always connect usernames plus their real names and... That's too much to ask of me. So don't be offended, Boston Grass. All right, so these packs are the exclusive pink camo, so we're gonna we'll open those after we do the regular packs here. Go to open packs to open the packs. We've got Game Pass Film Session on NFL Network. All right. We've got an NBA schedule out too, don't we? Senior NBA insider for Yahoo Sports, Chris Haynes, with the whole schedule here. 
looks like we're looks like they're starting July 30th, and it's gonna be Utah at New Orleans and the Clippers, uh, Clippers Lakers, two TNT games. That's gonna start the the restart off with a bang. So everyone's playing like eight eight games, I think. It's like they're cramming those in between the 30th of July to August 14th, so a couple weeks of hoops, and then diving right into the diving right into the uh, playoffs. Which I don't think the playoffs are going to be any different. I think that format's going to be the same. Although I think they are going to do some slightly different things where. Or maybe they'll, uh, like if a series ends, if like, if like two series end early, they won't wait for the other series to end. They'll just, they'll just start and just keep going. It's slightly different from before where I think all the rounds, I think they wait for all the rounds to end and then they move on, but we'll see. Number one, good luck. Um, for Vet Commons, Giannis, LeBron, and Luka Doncic will ship. Yeah, yeah, that was that was Vin Diesel driving by. We're on Pacific Coast Highway is right out there. There's a nice long straightaway out there. It can, it's, it's a little, gets a little easy to, to speed. Will to win LeBron James. Some of those in LeBron James inserts could go for a decent amount. Nice green Cam Reddish. Hawks, Matthew Shira. Is Atlanta in the mix? Or are they too were they too far out? I actually don't know what teams are actually I forgot the teams are actually in here. No, I don't think Atlanta's in. They're out, yeah. Ricky's saying they're out. Alright, so I guess no more chances for Cam Reddish's, Reddish's hobby stock to go up. Silver Isaiah Roby, you gotta save those silver rookies, you never know. Is, da Dal is Dallas in? Dallas is in, right? They're on the schedule somewhere. Oh, there they are. Their first game is Houston. Um, Houston at Dallas. That's an ESPN Friday night ESPN game. So I, I don't know. What if Isaiah Roby just goes off? Well, how much how much is that card now? Unless he's like injured or something. A couple Isaiah Roby triple doubles. And then Gavin Smithers, who got the uh, who got the the Mavs in this one, will be like, be like, I'm glad I got that silver Isaiah Roby. Oh, nice silver Luka Doncic. I was gonna say these base Luka Doncic's, you know, I think carry even even his second year carry a decent amount of value, but it's these silver ones. But I think someone looked like, you know what? I'm going to look this up. 
because now now I'm curious. Most value, you know, the, like the stock market, they can go up, they can go down, but 2019, 2020, Mosaic, Luca, Silver is my search. Show me Luca Silvers. The last Luca Silver, non not graded, sold on the 27th. That's today. Sold at 3:37 my time, local time. A couple hours ago, $74.99. I think it was a buy it now. That's the most recent one. And I don't, I, at a glance, I don't see any that are graded at the moment. So yeah, I think anywhere from 50, 50 to, I mean, some, some as low as 55, let's be honest here. So 55 to 75, around there if you're lucky, maybe on the higher end of things, but I'll bet if this grades out nicely, it'll probably go for, I don't know, PSA 10, what, what would that go for? I don't know, probably a decent amount. All right, now let's see. Pink camo or is exclusive to the cello pack sets. Let's see what we got in here. Could be some surprises in here as well. Luka Doncic, the stained glass, which you, we, don't, we don't find stained glasses in this, but in the hobby boxes, I think you can find stained glass. Luka Doncic, stained glass out of this year's mosaic, $422, not graded, just raw, $422, 37 bids, just ended a couple hours ago. People love those stained glasses. We need to get more of that hobby. All right. Pink camos. Nice NBA debut, Hachimura. Pink camo for Matthew G. NBA debut, pink camo, Kobe White. Are the are the Bulls in? And I gotta I gotta memorize what teams are are in or out. Ricky Holbert, I feel like he would know. They were in Chicago's not in, so that was the last we saw of Kobe. Oh, his stuff is still selling decently anyway. <laughs> he was on, he was on a bit of a tear before the season was hit the pause button. wasn't was, Wasn't he averaging like thirty a night for three or four nights? Nick says no. Yeah, Nick says no. Bulls didn't make it. I think before the season ended, he was averaging, he had a few games, maybe three out of the last four games where like he was hitting 30 a night or something. So he, he, was, he was starting to heat up. Ricky says, look up Kobe White versus Darius Garland stats. I don't get why Kobe White is five to six times more expensive. Yeah, I don't know, maybe, probably Bulls versus Chicago market versus Cleveland market. 
think maybe that's why. But don't sleep on Darius Garland. I think I think a lot of times we, we pull Darius Garland for calves. People get randomized at calves and they're kinda like, eh. But that's a good that's a good hold or a keep or a stash on the on your on your bench. Oh, and right, Ryan H is mentioning Kobe White also Oh, did he go to UNC? Yeah, maybe where did Garland go? Vanderbilt for Garland, okay. So yeah, maybe the, the the big basketball powerhouse angle is also why Kobe White sells for more than Darius Garland, even though Darius Garland might have the, the better statistics. But hey, this is a lot like the stock market, you know what I mean? If Ricky, if you believe, yeah, Ricky's, I, I've been... Ricky's like, hey, I've been buying Darius Garland's. Right, I just learned about Anchor Down for Vanderbilt yesterday too. Um, so yeah, but if, if you believe that that the that Darius Garland's a good buy low, yeah, buy him up, snap him up, get some great, take the time to get him graded, you know, and just just kind of sit on him, you know. If uh, you know if if Cavs organization gets their act together, gets that young team, good core, get some good coaching, get lucky enough to add a big free agent or something like that. Oh, Garland is upper deck exclusive for autos. That I did not know. He is, says Ricky. All right. That makes the parallels even even hotter in Panini stuff, I would imagine. Do we like Kevin Porter Jr.? He's another Cavs guy that seems to pop in our in our breaks. Yeah, Porter Jr. is good. So you got Kevin Love, Kevin Porter Jr., Colin Sexton, Darius Garland. You know, you got you got a Nance, right? He's still on the team, right? Larry Nance Jr. really liked him with the Lakers. He's got some great energy. So he can be Larry Nance Jr. could be as excellent as he can be excellent as a starter off the bench to to bring up some energy, something like that with like a monster dunk. When Nance started shooting threes this year, what? He would have stayed on the Lakers at that. Um, you know, I don't know Dylan Windler. So there's like a, there's a bit of a core there now. Now not all these guys are going to work out. You know, but if a couple do, a few do, a couple more drafts, a couple good trades, you know, maybe another another free agent type thing, a little bit of marinating for some of the younger guys, and then boom, that, that's an interesting team. East is weak. And then it's basically just construct a team that could battle... Boston, Philadelphia, and Milwaukee, and you're set. Miami. NBA debut silver, Ty Jerome. Grant Williams Green. There's Darius Garland right there. That will ship to the Cavs. That'll be for Tang with that one. And a Zion Williamson base. Rookie card for the Pelicans. So Joseph Lachat on the board. T 
see what are those Zions going Right, can't sleep on the Raptors. They actually, everyone left them for dead this season, and they were playing some pretty good ball. Base Zions out of Mosaic. Let's take a quick look at how much they're going for. An ungraded silver went for 525 Base Zion, 60 bucks, I think. Yeah, $58. A silver PSA 10 went for $1,600. Jesus. All right. Well, don't fail us, Zion. We need you. And if you're a Zion owner, don't worry. If he has a few soft games and his value goes down, if you believe in him in the future, don't don't panic sell. That would be uh, – don't, don't, I don't want people to regret that. If you truly believe in, in Zion. If you don't, then just sell Zion whenever you want to. But Utah Pelicans is your very first game of the restart if everything keep if everything's everyone's healthy and everyone's okay. That's the first game of the restart, so Zion on night one. Ricky's like, I'm curious, how does how does uh, I'm curious how he does play out. Does he stay at that weight, dominate, but higher injury risk? You would think he's got to just naturally shed a little bit of that baby fat that he has. I don't think he's got to lose too much. Maybe if he just kind of shaves it down just a little bit, just to keep pressure off the, off the joints. I still think he could still be explosive. It's possible. Look at look at Giannis. Look at Giannis's body back in 2013, 2014. And look how much of a of a bean pole he was. So if, if if Giannis can change his body, so can Zion. What what's on his what's on Zion's side? Is he super young? He's still like what 19 years, 19, 20 years old? But I think if you're the Pelicans, you want him to sh uh, shed a little bit of that weight just to keep a little pressure off the knee without taking away from his explosiveness. And then you just got to let him play his game. Maybe, maybe you work on, I don't know, if maybe you try to work on technique or something like that. There's got to be some way to coach, like how to land, you know, after going up for a dunk, how to position yourself, how to be a little more nimble how to jump and land properly or more efficiently. There's got to be ways to coach that. So if he works on that, those techniques, you know, then he can... And sky's the limit for him. Right, most guys that jump that higher mascot use laying on pads. There's got to be... I mean, I don't know... I mean, maybe people who have who are more involved in coaching basketball at a higher level has got to know this. There's got to be a way to teach that. You know, maybe you maybe you hang on the rim for just a half a second longer, or something like that, and then and then land softer, like a cat. Ja Morant pink camo. Nice. That's for the Memphis Grizzlies. Ryan Redmond. So Ryan, while we've been looking up all these other cards, why not why not look up another significant rookie here? Mosaic Ja Morant pink camo. Is my search. Just a raw one. NBA, oh, this is NBA debut. All right, NBA debut, $26. Recent sale. Non-NBA debut, like $84. So there's a huge difference there, but still a John ja Morant. NBA debut, Zion Williamson. So whatever that other price was, maybe a little bit more than a base. 
less than a normal Zion. But there you go, another one for Joseph. LeBron James, pink camo. Rui Hachimura, pink camo. Hachimura is an, is, is an interesting... He certainly got some upside. I don't know. He was hobby hot for a minute or two when the season started. I don't know what these are going for now. Hmm. It's like seven, eight dollars for that card. I thought it'd be a more. I thought it'd be like at fifteen or twenty, but to keep her, that's a, that's a hold. I think you can get a lot more than that later on. I feel like, in my opinion. What about you, LeBron? What are your pink camos going for? That's got to be fifteen, twenty bucks, right? Fifty-one dollars. Forty dollars? Yeah, four, four, forty to forty to fifty bucks on that. Okay, more than I thought. One did go for thirty-five. But there you go, Lakers. That's me for Dan Tyson. Charles Barkley at the end. Have fun with the market, ladies and gentlemen. This is like the stock market. This basketball is a lot of fun, and it's restarting soon, so that should be fun too. Thanks for watching, folks. That was a two-box random team break number 19, 2019 Panini Mosaic Basketball. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.